In question 11 of the exercise, here's what the problem statement says. If the sum of the first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square, what is the first term? That is S1. What is the sum of the first two terms? Then what is the second term? Similarly, find the third, the tenth and the nth terms. So basically, we are given an expression for the sum of the first n terms and using that we have to find the first term and then we have to find the second term and the third, the tenth and the nth term. So to understand the key idea behind solving this problem, observe this visual representation of the arithmetic progression where each box represents a term of the AP. So we have A1, we have A2, and so on. I have shown six terms here. Now we are given that the uh, sum of n terms, the expression for Sn is 4n minus n square. Now if you observe this figure carefully, what do you think is the sum of just the first term? If you take only one term, what is the sum of the first term? That's only a1. So the sum of the first term and the sum of the first one term is the same as the first term itself which means that if you substitute n equal to 1 in this expression you will get the first term. Why? Because s1 is equal to simply a1 the first term and then you have s2 will be equal to a1 plus a2 and then you'll have s3 equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 and this pattern will continue. But if you take n equal to 1 you will get the sum of one term which is actually nothing but the first term itself. So this is how we can calculate the first term. So what is the first term? So the first term a1 is actually nothing but s1 and this is equal to 4 times 1. I'm just substituting n equal to 1. So 4 times 1 minus 1 square which is equal to 4 minus 1 or 3. So we have found a1. Now the next question says what is the sum of the first two terms. So what is a1 plus a2? So what is that? So that will be s2. So s2 will be a1 plus a2. This is equal to 4 into 2. So instead of n, let's substitute 2 now. So 4 into 2 minus 2 square, which is equal to 8 minus 4 or 4. So the sum of the first two terms is equal to 4. And next the question says, what is the second term? So here's now a, a key idea behind the solution. So we have found the sum of the first two terms that is equal to 4 and we've also found the first term that is equal to 3 which immediately tells us that the second term is um, 4 minus 3 or 1. So basically what this means is that to find the second term you can subtract from S2 you can subtract S1. So from the sum of the first two terms, you can subtract the sum of the first term and that will give you the second term. So let's write it algebraically. So A2 is actually equal to S2 minus S1. This is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So the second term is equal to 1. Now it says find the third term, the tenth term and the nth term. So what will be the third term, which is this term A3 here. So to find A3, we will use a similar idea. So we will find the sum of the first three terms. And from there, we will subtract the sum of the first two terms. So that will just leave A3. So A3 will be equal to S3, the sum of the first three terms, minus S2, the sum of the first two terms. So what is S3? So S3 is equal to 4 times 3 minus 3 square and s2 we already calculated s2 as 4 so minus 4 so this is equal to 12 minus 9 minus 4 so this is equal to minus 1 so a3 the third term is equal to minus 1 now let's find the tenth term so the tenth term will similarly be equal to s10 the sum of all terms up to the 10th term minus S9, the sum of all terms up to the 9th term. So if you take this difference, you will only be left with the 10th term. 
so in general the idea is to find any term you you take the sum up to that number that much number of terms and then subtract the sum up to the previous term and then you will find that term that you're trying to find so let's find s10 and s9 so s10 will be equal to 4 times 10 minus 10 square so that's s10 and from this which we will subtract s9 which is equal to 4 times 9 minus 9 square so let's uh, find the value of this so this is equal to uh, 40 minus 100 from the first bracket and from the second bracket we have 36 minus 81 uh, so this is equal to minus 60 plus 45 which is equal to minus 15 so the tenth term is equal to minus 15 and now finally let's find the nth let's find an expression for the nth term so for that we will use the same idea the nth term is equal to the sum up to n terms minus the sum up to n minus 1 terms so this is the key idea behind the solution so we we will find the nth term as the sum up to n terms minus the sum up to n minus 1 terms so let's find this now so sn is 4n minus n square and sn minus 1 is 4 times n minus 1 minus n minus 1 square so this is how we will find uh, a n so now we can find 4 n minus 4 n minus 1 so that will be equal to 4 and then we will have minus n square plus n minus 1 square from the second bracket this is equal to 4 minus n square plus n square minus 2 n plus 1 and this will leave us with n square will get cancelled out we'll get 4 plus 1 or 5 so 5 minus 2 n so we have managed to find a general expression for the nth term of this progression using the expression for the sum up to n terms and now you can verify that this expression is correct if you put in different values of n you should get different terms of the ap so if you put n equal to 1 you should get a1 which is uh, 5 minus 2 or 3 so this is correct if you put n equal to 2 you should get a2 which is 5 minus 2 into 2 or 5 minus 4 equal to 1 if you put in n equal to 3 you should get a3 which is 5 minus uh, 2 into 3 or 5 minus 6 or minus 1 so that's also correct and if you put in n equal to 10 uh, you will get 5 minus 2 into 10 or 5 minus 20 or minus 15 so the 10th term should be minus 15 which is what we calculated so this expression for the nth term 5 minus 2 n is correct to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers